Judy Burns from Cranbrook Cable Channel 11 and today I have with me Dave Stefanik, one of our local firefighters and we're here obviously as you can see from behind us with it's the McDonald's Fire Safety House or McDonald's Crestbrook Fire Safety House how can we uh, McDonald's Crestbrook uh, Cranbrook Firefighters uh, Fire Safety House uh, the uh, the official name is the Cranbrook Firefighters East Kootenai uh, fire Safety House. Uh, the major sponsors, of course, were Crestbrook and uh, McDonald's Restaurants. Well, this is really an exciting project for you and for the firefighters in Cranbrook. Uh, it's been underway for quite some time, or in the process of being constructed and negotiated for quite some time. Yes, it's uh, taken a little over a year, and uh, with a very uh, great deal of assistance from uh, various uh, community businesses uh, who have contributed to um, donate items, everything from the siding to the flooring to the electrical, uh, you name it. Uh, people have really come through on this project. Well, how did the idea come about? Is this a unique idea to Cranbrook or has it been done elsewhere? Well, it's a unique idea to Cranbrook. It, it is being done elsewhere. It started in Indiana, in the United States, uh, some uh, few years ago. And the whole purpose of it is to teach families, children and adults, uh, proper methods of uh, extinguishing a fire in a house, uh, how to report a fire to the fire department, how to uh, escape from a fire in the event that you wake up in the middle of the night and your smoke detector is going. And... Uh, We'll be taking it around to schools. It'll be traveling throughout the East Kootenays, Cranbrook, Kimberley, Fernie, Creston, and some of the smaller communities as well. And uh, I'm, I know that a lot of the children and adults will get a lot of great benefit from it. That's exciting. I think that's tremendous. And I think it shows a tremendous amount of community spirit by the firefighters, on behalf of the firefighters and other local businesses. The idea is a unique one. How did it come to Cranbrook specifically? Now, you said it went, started in Indiana, but Cranbrook's a long way from That's Indiana. That's right, and uh, it did, uh, some of the fire safety houses have been constructed in British Columbia, uh, in the Lower Mainland and the Okanagan, and one of our firefighters, Wayne Erickson, uh, had the opportunity of seeing one of these fire safety houses, uh, took the time and the effort to bring a fire safety house over to Cranbrook from the Okanagan, and uh, with uh, that demonstration was able to start uh, the uh, idea and design and efforts into the firefighters uh, building this fire safety house uh, here in Cranbrook. That's great. You said everything's been donated. Can I ask at, at what cost, what is the estimated cost of constructing a, a, the house? It has to be in excess of fifteen thousand uh, dollars you know some of the donors have been uh, very extensive uh, and uh, it's well in excess of fifteen thousand dollars to construct this house who's actually constructed the house uh, well uh, ready service had a lot to do with the initial construction the East Kootenai College had uh, a lot to do with the uh, running gear the trailer part of the uh, uh, construction. Uh, firefighters had a tremendous amount to do with the uh, basic construction of the house and of course window suppliers uh, mm -hmm. did their thing. Uh, the siding people put the uh, Ostash aluminum, put the siding on. Uh, the floor covering people uh, did their thing. Uh, so it was a coordination of all these agencies together to finally come up with uh, uh, this house that we have. Good. Now, it's the Cranbrook firefighter's responsibility to take the house around in Cranbrook, in the Cranbrook area. Who Will the Creston firefighters come here to get it, or do you take it down there for their use? Yes, we'll be shortly having a training session mm -hmm. for various uh, fire departments outside of Cranbrook, and it will be the Cranbrook fire department's uh, responsibility to uh, utilize the house within Cranbrook, mm -hmm. and Kimberly's responsibility to look after theirs, etc., uh, etc. Et Great. Well, it's obviously a great effort, and it's congratulations to yourself and all the firefighters who've participated and to the businesses of the community, and I'm sure the community will see a direct benefit from all these efforts. And thank you very much for talking with me today. Thank you, Judy. Good.
John Lutton from CFI, the representative from McDonald's Restaurants, the Fire Chief, Mayor Rick Jensen. Can you come forward, please? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're now going to have a demonstration of the Fire Safety House. We brought along today four young students from uh, two of the various schools. And for your benefit, so that you can have the opportunity of, of hearing what's happening in the house, uh, everything that we that I do to the children, I'll be saying over the radio. So you'll be able to hear me as you are right now. So we're, uh, the purpose of the Fire Safety House, ladies and gentlemen, is to teach children and families fire safety in the home. We have, as a lot of you have seen, we have simulated a home by way of having a kitchen, uh, a telephone system. Uh, in the kitchen is the, also a stove. Uh, we have an upstairs bed, bedroom sleeping area and with uh, uh, windows with windows uh, leading out to uh, secondary escape routes and I think you'll be able to get a better appreciation as we take the children through it. Now some of you will have the opportunity of, of maybe seeing through the window what's going on, uh, especially in the kitchen. The upstairs is going to be a little bit more difficult. We expect when we're putting, as for instance, children through there, that we probably could have 10 or 12 children at any one time going through the house. So a uh, class of children, I guess it depends on class sizes, a uh, class of children uh, will... Two or three groups, uh, Mike Patterson says. Boy, class sizes are really going to go up. <laughs> But anyway, uh, we'll be putting them through in groups and uh, you'll be able to have a good appreciation of what we've done. Uh, and if you have any questions, by all means, ask any of the firefighters after all. And uh, the, the uh, original uh, idea of the fire safety house stems from uh, other parts of British Columbia. The Okanagan, the Lower Mainland, the North Country all have fire safety house. We're about the last area to construct one and are very pleased with it. And need, needless to say, are very pleased with all of your participations in uh, making this house a reality. It's taken a lot of efforts on your parts without, uh, without any doubt. Boys and girls, what we're going to be doing is taking you through the fire safety house. And the purpose of this fire safety house is to teach you and you in turn to teach your families the proper use of fire safety features in your home and also what you should be doing or you should not be doing in your home as it concerns fire.